What's one trope about gardening that you've always heard yet it's wrong? I'll go first. You see that thing behind me? That is a seedless watermelon. All throughout my childhood and into my adult life, I've always heard that this particular melon is GMO and that couldn't be farther from the truth. This is a product of selective breeding. I think what's really happening is people have lost the ability of discernment. In order to correct this, we must first start with the basics. What is GMO and what is selective breeding? When it comes to growing better plants, farmers have two very different tools in their toolbox, one of which is GMO and the other is selective breeding. Selective breeding is a method of choosing plants with the traits you want and then breeding them over many generations until those traits stick. This process happens naturally. Humans just guide it. GMO technology is much newer. Scientists directly change an organism's DNA in a lab, sometimes introducing genes from entirely different species to produce results that would never happen naturally, like making corn resistant to pests or even soybeans resistant to herbicides. Now let's talk seedless watermelon. For years, people have assumed the seedless watermelon was GMO or a lab product, and that couldn't be farther from the truth. Seedless watermelons are the result of selective breeding. Developed in the 1940s by crossing watermelon varieties to create a plant with triploid genetics. That genetic setup prevents normal seed development. That means the plant is sterile. No hard black seeds, just the soft white seed traces that are edible and you barely notice. So while GMOs do exist in the agriculture world, the seedless watermelon sitting in your refrigerator right now is just a result of good old-fashioned plant breeding, not genetic engineering. This myth has stuck around for decades, but now you know the truth. You see it.